CPD is now looking at and what's that Flint River Basin Plan has what's red and yellow areas that where hydrologic connection um, between surface and groundwater is strong and um, those are the most sensitive areas. We also have four <coughs> mussels that are over there that have to be protected. Uh, so full scale permitting hadn't opened up, but EPD is looking at what types of permitting can be done if any in the red and yellow zones over there as well in the, in the next two to three years. So that's how we just keep giving updates on that, but just sort of the neighboring basin of what's been going on. And that's been shut down a long time, and there seems to be a little bit of movement over there. Brady, Brady's not going to like that movement. It's not <coughs> enough for him, but it's, it's, it's all we have right now. Oh, did people eat mussels? Not those. No more we protect them. Yeah. Fish and wildlife service, they, 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 they're over there and, and been attending those meetings and are working on the habitat conservation plan, or at least watching it. Uh, Albany State and the Department of Natural Resources put together a habitat conservation plan that would uh, ultimately it, it would prevent a Section 10 taking under Endangered Species Act from the farmers in the Flint Basin, is what is being said. And um, that process is, is underway supposed to be finished in a couple of years and then the Fish and Wildlife will, will review that for probably a couple more. So sometimes between now and next four years uh, there may be a conservation plan that, that allows further permitting to go on. Is what has been said. We're on the front end of that. So. Well, what, was the, what was the geologist up there that named it? Jim Kennedy. Jim Kennedy. State geologist. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. said during the drought time Muscles do better than it is with blood time. Now, why why are we worried about that now? Yeah. Somebody's got to have to under, got to understand to me what or did Joe Biden come up with that? It sounds like a Joe Biden. Thing. <laughs> I'm not sure they started a little before him. I think. <laughs> So that's what's going on in the Flint Basin a little bit. <coughs> frost or freeze protection, not any irrigation permitting going on, but uh, frost freeze protection is now available and that has previously been unavailable for the last 10 years. But that's only now that I have. Okay. We'll keep an eye on the Flint Basin. If anything happens over there, I'll share it with this council. Uh, and I think, I think our friends at the Swanee River District, uh, we did a lot of research. They look at both of those bases as so we connect. All of it. Uh, pre appreciate them. I'm sure they appreciate having an update on what's going on in there as well. Anybody have questions for Cliff the EPD? How do we stand on our. Who uh, the, the, the yeah, Well, it depends on what area. We're still putting them on. Uh, it's in the 90 percentile of, of the invader. Uh, you know, whenever there's a new withdrawal that goes on, the, the, the withdrawal of the permit holder has to put them on now. Now, the, now we're going towards tar control provision. Um, and we can do a lot more, uh, offer people a lot more benefits. If we use telemetry, we can find people from stomping around on their farms. Yeah. If I can just read a button, read, you know, read the data, I have to send the email out. No, it's in the that would be pretty receptive. And they're very receptive. Keeping my folks. Is that sign that the EPD's paying for? It was. While that's still in flux, that's what was going to end up happening. We paid for it anyway. Once you put it on the mail. Florida is more progressive than Georgia is. They got more money. What do you think? Well, I know the work that's been doing. We're lucky to get the meal paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I think the district, you know, I'm not to speak for him, but I think last time I looked, their district budget was bigger than our, than our almost our EPD agency budget, you know, in, in some years. Maybe we need to take. And they're the smaller. And they're the smallest one. That's right. Maybe we need to take. To take uh, their, their governor is our president. <laughs> I think you're going to get a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a bug in way, Brady. Do what? <coughs> Throw a bug in way. Okay. I kind of like him. He speaks more my language. Well, I'm trying.
sure he'd probably like it, Greg. <laughs> Alright, well Cliff, you told me you had 30 minutes prepared, but I thought it was great. I have more to say. You did help us catch up.